Hey guys, so today you and I are going to talk about sysadmins and DevOps. So let's get into it. So the question in question was, hi Frederick, from what I have seen, a DevOps engineer is a system administrator for a product company. What do you think? I think that it depends on the role because titles in operations means practically nothing uh, there is like a I mean if you think it's loose uh, to define what a back-end developer is or front-end developer is try to like try to define what an operations person is uh, or IT support what does IT support mean you know stuff about computers that that is about as well defined as it's gonna get you see the thing is the uh, the the real issue with defining what say a sysadmin is versus what a devops engineer is is not in that there is not a sort of definition what it means it's in the fact that these terms are ambiguous for the vast majority of companies so if I tell you that this is the definition of a system admin, a sysadmin. This is the definition of a DevOps engineer. And you then, then go to a company. They're not going to agree with you. Because to them it's the same thing. Depending on who you ask. And that's the that's the problem. There is no... Like, at the end of the day, guys, I, have, you, I really have to drive this home to you. The tiles in IT are just our attempts at defining sort of what you are responsible for. The thing that matters is the skills. What does the company need and what can you provide? I've had this conversation a million times with, especially in the front-end community, where everybody seems to believe that if you know if you know no JS, or if you f think that you're forced to learn that, that that makes you a full-stack engineer. I, I mean, to me, it's just hilarious that they can even believe that that is the case, because the, re the reality is that, uh, sure, we can make a definition and say that front-end ends at the UI level. And as I've said a hundred times before, the companies don't give a shit. Your employer doesn't give a shit. I don't care if what your definition is of front-end. It's what they are looking for that matters. And the job posting is going to say what the job posting says. So if you set yourself up, it could be this, because that's the thing that I want you to understand when you're when when at least I give you my perspective. I don't care what word you use. I'm here to try to explain to you the skills that are necessary to f to fit within the common-ish definition of what that term means. And uh, if you don't agree, that's fine. I mean, if you can find work uh, without n knowing these things, then, then by all means, uh, based on my experience, it's really hard uh, to, um, to, to throw around the title and then have that mean something because IT is always changing and it's the same thing with system administrators what, what is the difference between a DevOps engineer and a sysadmin? Well, depending on the company, nothing. What's the difference between a sysadmin and an IT support person or a network administrator? Once again nothing depending on the company because the operations depending on how you want to define how you want to slice that pie it can mean anything from literally setting up people's workstations all the way up to basically handling deployments and on call rotations and things like that that's that's what i'm telling people there there is a range to things that could be within your responsibility and we have these roles to sort of try to define what is most common but it doesn't end there I'll, as an example I mean the companies that I work with uh, so uh, they migrated from the uh, uh, from on-prem solutions and self-hosted solutions and all of that good stuff over to cloud solutions where they actually now are integrating towards uh, everything towards Azure there is one department for all of that and it's called the DevOps department and they handle everything with, from access control to workstation setups to, I mean, the only thing that they do not do is to give you the actual workstation and then the, the software that you're running on the workstation. Anything related to the web, like cl the cloud solutions, the access rights, repository access, all that stuff is all DevOps. 
so they work together with the sysadmins, or like, they, they're not even called sysadmins, the other part, like, because these are the guys, they set everything up, uh, the guys and the girls, set everything up, handle everything from DNS to networking issues to, like, they're basically a big bucket for all things related to IT. I mean, they're, for lo the love of God, they're actually helping people set up, like, the office package and, like, asking, uh, answering questions related to just how, in this case, it's Azure, just how Azure works. So they're a bucket for everything. And depending, and once again, depending on your definition, that is a uh, IT support person, or is it a sysadmin, or is it that DevOps thing that we were talking about? Because I mean, that's beautiful. Because the DevOps thing that uh, you know, the the dev in ops, none of them have that skill. None of them are developers. They do n absolutely no development. And that's of course not a hard requirement to be a DevOps person by today's standards, but uh, or like depending on how you want to define it. But that's the thing that I want you to understand that uh, this term that the subscriber is like you always know, a DevOps person is a sys admin in a product company. That's uh, it's a it's a nothing term. It means nothing uh, because the popular definition of a DevOps engineer is literally an individual that is up to date with the latest. Uh, well, operations trends, which is basically cloud solutions, knowing the right uh, development tools and having a, as I like to say, it's more about a focus than anything else. A system admin is a different, usually has a different types of focus. I would even say that to an extent, the difference between a sysadmin and DevOps engineer, uh, it's, it's, it's hard to say but I would go as far as to say that a system administrator is closer to being just a standard operations person or like an IT support person uh, than they are being a purebred DevOps person. But once again, that depends. Like, what type of ca company are you running? Because the sysadmins, I mean, the shit, they need to have basically, in many cases, they need to have the same skills that the DevOps engineers need to have. Because a system admin, if you meet, if the company is structured in such a way that the sysadmins are the ones who are like operations person people, at the end of the day, who like what, what the title is 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 completely irrelevant. What matters is who has access to the to the environments, who is managing the servers, who is uh, uh, managing the infrastructure, all that stuff. And if you want to call yourself a DevOps engineer, a sysadmin, or like a site reliability or a liability engineer, these terms. As I said, it's a role. In essence, you need the same skills because it's it, it is the same ecosystem, and then you have different focus areas within that sphere. Uh, that is the best definition that you're going to be able to get from me, at the very least, and probably the best one you're going to get from the industry. That is, at the very least, that makes any type of sense because there's. You I mean if you want to go and out and look. Go out and do some googling and find some articles, and I promise you, you will be as confused probably after reading about the different role definitions as you were when you started, because nobody can tell you what the role means. Just as I said, with front-end engineers, what is a, what's the responsibility of a front-end engineer? What's the responsibility of a back-end engineer? And what's the difference between a back-end engineer and a DevOps engineer? I mean, is like wh where do you draw the line? And as I like to say. There is the, the only line that matters is what does the company need you to be able to do? That's it. That's the only thing that matters. So what I want you to take away from this is that no, a DevOps engineer is not a system admin in a product company. Or maybe they are. Depends on the company. Depends on how they want to see things. What's the difference between an operations person and a DevOps engineer? Once again, there is a definition that you could go and Google up and look at. But the, for the vast majority of companies, they will not know that definition. They will not care about that definition. They will basically, because in, in, in the world, in the average company, DevOps engineer is literally the same thing as an operations person. For most intents and purposes, it's the same thing where everything that is SOA is called a microservice today. But there's actually a fairly strict definition, depending on how you want to uh, want to look at it, for what testifies as uh, qualifies as a microservice. Nobody really cares. So if you want to get into the whole, like, I want to put a label on myself, or I want to put a label on a title in in software development, please go ahead and do that. All I'm here to say is, for the most parts, my friend, parts guys, 
just look at the job postings and just go with whatever title the company wants to put on you because at the end of the day a title is just a, it's just an abstraction it's just a term that we use to describe a set of skills that sort of falls within that that's all it is have a great day